In this module, we will talk about mitosis. Mitosis is a process in which one cell gives rise to two daughter cells. It is a sequence of events. Before we talk about mitosis, let us look at the apparatus that is responsible for making this process feasible. The two components, major components, the spindle and the chromosomes. Spindle is made up of centrosome out of which microtubules are emanating. As we have talked about, centrosome is the organelle which is responsible for formation of microtubules. The two types of microtubules that come out of the centrosome are the kinetochore microtubules. These microtubules are the, are the ones which are attached to the chromosomes, a specific region called kinetochore. The other microtubules that are not attached to the kinetochore, these microtubules are called the polar microtubules. Chromosome is basically, as we have talked about, is a structure which is composed of the heredity material, the DNA, and also proteins. A special sequence of DNA called centromere is the region which is attached to the microtubules via specific proteins, protein complex called kinetochore. So basically, centromere is the sequence of DNA to which kinetochore proteins assemble. These kinetochore proteins have ability to attach to two things. One, of course, the DNA and second, the kinetochore microtubules. When the process begins, the polar microtubules, they are responsible for pushing the mitotic spindle apart and the kinetochore microtubules are responsible for pulling the chromosomes apart. Let us look at the phases of this process. At interphase, where cells have basically replicated their DNA and during the S phase, but they have not proceeded to mitosis. The nuclear envelope is intact. The centrosomes, however, have divided and, of course, the DNA inside the nucleus is also uh, divided, has also divided. The process begins. The first stage of mitosis is prophase. In this stage, the chromatin starts to coil, becomes condensed. Remember that this chromatin has already divided during the S phase of the cell cycle. The centrosomes, which have already divided, they move to the opposite ends of the cell. We have already talked that centrosomes are the structures from which these microtubules are coming out, and together they are forming the spindle. The nuclear envelope is still intact. The chromosomes have already divided. From one chromosome, we have two chromosomes. They are still held together at the centromere region, and there is a special molecule which acts as a glue, which is still holding these two chromatids together. These two chromatids basically are one chromosome. However, this one chromosome, which is a linear structure, has already divided and made two daughter chromosomes, which are still held together. So, the, in the next stage, the prometaphase, the nuclear envelope starts to break down. The kinetochore microtubules, they start to explore. They are trying to find the kinetochores of the chromosomes. Although this nuclear envelope has started to disassemble, it has not completely gone in prometaphase. In the next stage, metaphase, the nuclear envelope has completely gone and the chromosomes are at the highest point of their condensation. This is the shortest, as short as short a chromosome is going to get. This is why when people are looking at the chromosomes, they prefer to look at metaphase chromosomes since they are very small and it is easier to see them and look at their special features. During metaphase, chromosomes line up at a specific axis called equatorial plate. On equatorial plate, chromosomes which are moving back and forth have now lined up. They are in the center. At this stage, there is a checkpoint. Cell tries to see whether all the kinetochores are attached to the spindle fibers or the microtubule. And these two chromatids, which are forming one chromosome, the adjacent centromeres, one kinetochore is attached to one spindle on one side and the other kinetochore on the same chromosome is attached to the other spindle. After cell has checked that all the microtubules have been attached to the kinetochore, the next phase starts, the anaphase. 
in which the chromosomes start to move apart. Now, at this stage, the chromosomes are not attached to each other because the glue that was binding these two chromosomes or the chromatids have been degraded and the two chromatids, they move towards the opposite end of the poles. In the next stage, telophase, the nuclear envelope starts to form. Our chromosomes have already moved to the opposite end of the cell. Now, in telophase, the nuclear envelope starts to reform. Chromosomes start to decondense and they get ready for the next phase, which is cytokinesis. Now, we have two nuclei in the same cell having exactly alike chromosomes, which are exactly identical. And now, the next event is the, the splitting of one cell into two cells. As I mentioned earlier, that there is a glue. This molecule is called cohesin. During prophase, the cohesin is, is holding both the chromatids together all along their length. At metaphase, the cohesin has, all cohesin has been degraded except what is left at the centromere or the kinetochore region. At anaphase, as we, we have talked about, even the cohesin molecules which are present at the centromere region or the kinetochore region, they are also degraded, resulting in separation of the two daughter chromatids. This event basically leads to the separation of the chromatids and allows the formation of two nuclei, which happens in the telo telophase. After telophase, the, the cells have to separate, they have to, find, they have to form two individual cells. In order to do that, the cytoplasm has to be divided. The way that works is, as I mentioned earlier, it is, the process is sort of like if you have a ball of dough, you run a thread around it, and then you pull on the two ends of the thread. That will basically cut one ball of dough into two balls of dough. What is the thread here? The thread is actin filaments. They assemble in the center of the cell, and when they contract, they cause the cells the larger cell to split into two daughter cells. Next, we will talk about the meiosis.